Hello, 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 beautiful people. It is Ashley here at Fire Intuition. I am here to do the daily reading for today. Happy Wednesday, loves. It is already Wednesday. We have two more days to Friday to the weekend. Hope you guys are having an amazing Wednesday. Let's hop in, my loves. Before we do, I'm sending you lots of love, light, healing energy, and hell of abundance. XOXO. So let's see what's coming in for you all as a collective. Let it be great. This is a general reading. It's for all the zodiac signs. So please do only take what resonates with you. Let's see what we got for you guys. I'm starting out with spirit messages. I'm going to look at some blockages today or see what you guys are releasing, what's around you. I'm going to look into career and finances and then we will hop into the love portion to kind of switch it up today. All right, love. So let's see what we got, guys. If I resonate with you guys, please do like, share, comment, subscribe, hit that bell. And if you guys would love to book a personal reading with me, fireintuition.com. All right. So let's hop in. Let's see what's going on with you all. Oh, yes. The February boxes, half of them have shipped. The other half are shipping out today. So when I went to the post office, a lot of the boxes are priority, meaning like you guys will get them in like two or three days. But when I went to the post office today, they told me that they're a little bit behind because you guys know I'm in Texas. We had that winter storm. So they said it would not be guaranteed that the boxes will get there in two to three days. I um, mean, then they left me like some type of alert on my account about it as well. But I'm just letting you guys know in advance that they are shipped out. And that if you don't get them in two or three days or if your shipping is not updated, when you guys check your tracking, it's not on me. It's on the USPS. All right? So I just wanted to let you guys know because I checked mine. I see some of them were scanned in. I see some of them weren't. It is also depends on where it's being shipped to as well. All right? So I just wanted you all to know that. All righty, guys. So let's hop in. Let's see. All right, spirit messages for the collective. Let's see. We have Archangel Raphael. Loving it. The healing angel is with you supporting your healing work. So you guys are healing at this time. Or this is telling me that you guys can call Archangel Raphael in. He is our healing Archangel. All right. So lovely energy. So far, we have Archangel Raphael. Some of you guys are having a hard time healing, possibly forgiving, letting go of something. And you guys are, um, some of you guys I feel like are wanting to do the work or you just want to be in a better place emotionally or it's been a struggle with your healing or it's been one hell of a process. But remember, healing does take time. All right. Don't force yourself to heal. Just take your time, guys. Never force healing. But you guys can definitely call in Archangel Raphael to help with this at any time. Let's see. We have ear chakras. Notice messages that appear as sounds, music, and words from both external sources and within your mind. These messages are real answers to your prayers. So you guys may hear some ringing in your ears, some noises. You guys may be sensitive to certain noises or sounds. That's your ear chakra. For others of you, there's some music. I feel like, um, say for example, if you're listening to your playlist, like something is getting your attention. Like it's like, I'm hearing music to your ears. And whatever it is you're listening to, it's a message for you. It's from, you know, like your guides, your angels, someone that's passed over, whoever you guys believe in spiritually. And they're like telling you something. They're trying to get your attention. For others of you, I feel like there's a song that you haven't heard in a really long time. And out of nowhere, you're going to be like, oh, I want to listen to this. Or, oh, I haven't listened to this in a long time. And there's definitely a message in the song for you. For others of you, there is someone that is sending you um, like a link. It could be like a YouTube link or, you know, a link to a song or lyrics to a song. And they're trying to tell you something without having to say it. So it's like their way of expressing that is through the music, not with their words. And that can also be another sign. Okay. These messages are real answers to your prayers. Yeah. Some of you guys want some confirmation or clarity on something. And I feel like it's coming through 
music more than sounds. But for others of you, if you're very sensitive to sound, if you're hearing ringing in your ears, it's seeing like the it's like the universe is telling you like to pay attention. You know, like pay attention to the things that you're hearing, the things that are around you. All right. Um, let's pull one more message. Release. Work with Archangel Michael to let go of what no longer serves you or your purpose. So some of you guys are confused about your life's purpose, what you should do, how you should move forward. Are you on the right path? Is this the right career? Am I doing the right thing? Am I in the right state? Am I in the right city? Where do I want to be at? Where do I want to go? Like it's, I feel like you guys are just asking yourselves all those questions. You guys can definitely call in Archangel Michael to help you guys release. What no longer serves you so that you guys can... It's like when I seen, okay, so we have Archangel Raphael. We, we get that, the healing. There's something that needs to be healed. I feel like healing are, okay, so for some of you, you're in a situation and it's very emotional and you want to heal the situation or you're needing to heal from something or you're just, like I said, you're going through some type of like healing. Like it's like something has been hard for you or Maybe it was just, you just came out of a traumatic situation or something that was very, um, it could have been something that just has, I feel like, been on your mind or bothered you from, for some time. And I feel as if you guys are like, you know what, I know I need to heal from this situation so that I can move forward. So that I can know where, you know, where I'm going, what I'm doing, what's next for me, something like that. And when I seen the ear chakra card and I said, your ears are very sensitive or there's um, lyrics in a, in a song or you're listening to a song. I feel like if you're like, for example, if you're like, you know what, should I move to so-and-so? You know, let's just say, oh, should I move to Florida? You might hear a song and it has that in, like it, 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 the song will have Florida in it or talking about moving or something. That's going to be your confirmation. That's your ear chakra. That's the confirmation that you need. And what you needed to do after that is release what no longer serves you so that you can go towards what it is you're trying to do. If it's a move, you need to release what's in the way or blocking or stopping you emotionally, mentally, or physically so that you can make this move, this adjustment, stuff like that. Okay? It's going to be different for all of you. I was just using that as an example. If it's a job or like your career, say if you're like, oh, you know, like I want to do this and you hear it in a song, that's like confirmation. So pay attention at this time to the things that you guys are hearing listening to um even if it's a song that you love just i'm hearing like just look at the lyrics like look at the words okay because there's a message there for you guys for some reason there's a message there all right so we have archangel Raphael, ear chakras and we have release let's pull an angel guide oracle and see what's going on with you guys See, it's the universe. Messages for today, Wednesday, uh oh, February 24th. Let's pull We have divine timing. I love it because everything happens in divine timing. At the bottom, we have take charge and action. See, I'm telling you, something is finally unfolding or happening for you guys. It's coming at the right time, it's coming in divine timing. So, let's pull our message. Let's see. I just seen it. All right. So, it says, Divine Timing. This card is a sign that your hopes and dreams are unfolding. You may not think so, but you need to remember that you may be working to human time whereas god is always working on soul time which can never be measured or rushed you are being guided to know that your angel team is with you right now encouraging you to call in the support of heaven and aligning your current situation with love imagine yourself in your situation covered in golden light and ask angels to show you the way forward knowing they are always working for your highest good and what do we have here archangel Raphael? And Archangel Michael. They're not angels. They're archangels. Okay? But you guys can call them in. Well, they are angels. They're archangels. 
and these are the angels that are around you that are supporting you at this time something is happening it's working behind the scenes for some of you guys you've been hoping and dreaming and wishing for this and it's finally unfolding and i feel like because you don't know the way or how you're going to get there or when it's going to happen it's frustrating you but the universe just wants you to heal at this time and listen and pay attention all right and release so that this can come towards you it's on the way it's definitely on the way love it so that definitely confirmed what i was saying definitely confirmation for a lot of you guys well this confirms that so loving it let's look at a couple blockages let's kind of see where you guys are blocked at or let's pull a blockage and see where you guys are blocked at as a collective and then let's see what you guys are releasing at this time Creative universe, where's the collective currently blocked at? All right, courage. And let's see what you guys are releasing. Trust. And look what's at the bottom, purpose. Everything we just talked about. For some of you guys, it's time to speak up. It's time to walk away. It's time to release. It's time to let go of. It's time to remove yourself. Let's see what we got at the bottom. We have failure. So you guys may have feel as if you have failed by yourselves in some type of way. Or you feel as someone has failed by you. You feel like something is failing within your life. You feel like something's not coming together. So we're going to see what this is all about. It's time for change. That's what it is. I understand that a mistake is only an opportunity to learn. And then we have change. I understand that nothing can grow or evolve without movement. So there needs to be some change. There needs to be some movement. For some of you guys, there needs to be a change or some movement in some type of relationship. Because the relationship card says, I am attracted to those people who serve my highest good. For some of you guys, you guys are around people that are toxic, that are negative. You need to detox yourself from them. Detox your relationships with these people. So that movement and change can come in. All right? Don't let anyone's pain, guilt, Fear, sorrow be yours. All right? Do not hold on to anyone else's guilt. Or do not allow someone to make you feel guilty or, you know, make you feel bad for something that you really, that you really want to do. But we have the courage card. I find the inner strength to face fear with confidence. So if this is where you guys are currently blocked at, it's like you guys are needing to find the inner strength and courage to speak up, to walk away, like I said, to release, to say goodbye. So let's see why courage is here. Maybe you guys are fearing some type of change. Some of you guys are, with the adventure cards, you're fearing change. It's like you want change, you want to move forward, but you don't have the courage to do it. You're scared. You fear this new beginning. You fear, like, what is going to happen. For some of you guys, it has to do with a spiritual partnership. You're like, oh, I can't leave my person behind. I can't leave this love behind. Sometimes in life, we have to do what is for us. Okay? It's not us leaving them behind. It's them catching up. Or what's meant for you is meant for you. Don't hold yourself back. Don't ever hold yourself back for anyone, all right? But for some of you guys, you guys are scared, you know, to travel, to be adventurous, to see the world, to, to see something new, to start something new. For some of you guys, you never left your hometown. For some of you guys, you never traveled. For some of you guys, you've never been out the country. For some of you, you like, you're, you're comfortable, you're, you're content and happy with where you're at, but then you're not. And you don't have the courage to come out of that energy, to, to go travel, to see the world, to go towards something new, to go towards a new state, you know, to have a new scenery. So you guys have to open yourself up, be adventurous, all right? There's so, like I told you guys yesterday, the world has so many opportunities. There's so many opportunities in the world. Take advantage of them, all right? Don't let that stop or block you. Let's see, give me one more message for the collective. Why they block the courage, domestic harmony. So you guys are definitely needing to heal a relationship, a situation. Some of you guys were in a domestic situation. And you guys are needing to heal from that situation. So there could be, you know, a traumatic situation that you guys were in. Some of you guys um, could suffer from, like, um, PTSD or it doesn't even have to be that. Some of you guys could just be in, a, in a, an environment or a relationship that's always toxic. There's always a lot of yelling, a lot of, like, um, distractions, a lot of things like that. And you guys are needing to just heal from that. Okay? It's blocking your finances as well with the financial discipline card. But I also feel like your finances are being blocked for some of you guys because you guys are needing to travel, explore, move around, 
shift your energy, change, do something new. I feel like, not all of you, but I feel like for some of you guys, where you're at, it's like there's no more growth there. And it's definitely time for change. It's definitely time for a new beginning. Okay? And it's time for you guys to discipline yourselves. All right? And so, like, if you say you're going to do something, do it. Don't hold yourselves back. So let's pull one more card. Why are you guys blocked with courage? We have rebirth. See, I told you, can't make this shit up. Some of you guys are scared of this new beginning. You guys are going through a rebirth, a transformation, some type of change, a transition. The universe wants to bring in something new, but you guys are resisting this change. If you're blocked with rebirth and courage, because you're really scared to do it. You're scared of this new beginning. You fear a new beginning. So, let's pull a chakra card on this for the overall energy for where you guys are blocked at. The collective, let's see. We have enlightenment. It's time for you guys to gain enlightenment. It's time for you guys to see this new path that's ahead of you. It's time for you guys to travel. It's time for you guys to explore life. There's so much coming towards you. The sun is shining. This is the sacral chakra. chakra. Okay, so it's time for you guys to use that creativity, that passion, that drive within you guys. It's time for expansion, growth. With the, enlight with the enlightenment and the expansion card. Quest, yep, a journey. So, yeah, I just feel like it's time to see the world in a different light. See, look, self-discovery, discovery. This can be some type of awakening. Look, and with that, look, it comes abundance. See how, like, on the abundance card, like, this person is, like, they're in their head. They're just, like, drinking or just, like fed up and it's like this box of gold like it's like all this abundance down here but someone is keeping themselves restricted stuck not thinking outside the box but they want this abundance they want this happiness okay so let's see what you guys are releasing we have the trust card i accept that my inner voice will always guide me correctly so i feel like you guys weren't trusting your inner voice you weren't trusting your higher self so if i see the courage card and then i see trust it's telling me for some of you guys, maybe you're coming out of this energy soon because you're gaining enlightenment and you're coming out of this awakening. Like maybe you're finally waking up and realizing something and seeing something different because now you're starting to trust yourself. You're, you're starting to trust your higher self, your inner voice. So let's see why the trust card is here. We have health. So yes, you guys are making healthier decisions and choices. You guys are worried about your health, whether it's emotionally, mentally, physically, spiritually. So that's good. Let's see what else we got. We have leadership. Love it. Stepping into your leadership. And look, self-discipline. So, so I love all of this because all of this is all about the root chakra. All of this energy here with the red. All right. Or like some people may say like, yeah, like the root. We have parenting that came out. Two came out. We have parenting and self-love again. So it's like with the trust, you guys are trusting yourselves. You're listening to your higher self, your inner voice, especially when it comes to your health, how you've been feeling, what you've been going through. You're stepping into your leadership. So that means you're stepping into your confidence. You're ready to take action, take charge. That's good. And then we have parenting. For some of you guys, you guys are parenting, parent, like you guys are parents, are It's like you're no longer parenting people around you and you're taking that energy and you're putting that self-love back into you or just loving yourself because parenting can be where you have some mother issues, father issues, or it's like you're struggling as a parent or it's like all the people around you or the people around you, you feel as if you have to parent those relationships. Like you always got to be there for someone, always got to watch someone. It's like you always got to give the advice, tell people what to do or not like tell people what to do in that type of way. But it's like, it's like you always got to like say something or, oh, do this. Why are you doing that? Or, you know, it's like, so the parenting card can go a long way. But if this is what you're releasing, you're like, you know what? I'm tired of parenting people. You're grown. Why do I have to parent you? Why do I have to tell you what you need to do? So, you guys are trusting how you feel. I love the health card is there, and I love that it ended with self-love. Because now you guys are focused on you. And I feel like as you guys are releasing this energy, or if this is what you guys are releasing, and this is the energy coming towards you, then you will soon have the courage and confidence 
to step outside the box or come into this energy where you are blocked at. And I feel like this energy is going to shift very soon for a lot of you guys. So let's see why you guys block with the trust card. We have creation. You are who you are, what you create. Okay. Do remember that. So creation. What do you want for yourself? What do you, where do you want to see your, like, where do you, what do you want? Where do you want to be? What do you want to do? What do you want to create? And we have it with rejection. I get this as thought rejecting yourself. It's okay to reject others. Rejection is healthy. Rejection is not a bad thing. Yes, rejection makes us feel some type of way like, oh, they rejected me. But when it comes to yourself, if someone rejects you with this energy here, with the creation card. So, for example, say if like you submitted something and it was rejected or you didn't get the job or it was you didn't get approved. It's like the universe is telling you like stay in your leadership. Don't give up. You were rejected for a reason. Maybe you weren't approved for a reason. Maybe you didn't get that job for a reason. You didn't get that house for a reason. You didn't get that car for a reason. You know, that person, they rejected you for a reason. Don't look at it as always bad because we have the health card here. Maybe the situation wasn't healthy. Maybe the person wasn't healthy. Maybe the relationship wasn't healthy. Maybe that house was not going to be um, a stable environment for you and your kids. Maybe the car was going to give you issues and problems. Maybe the job was full of shit and toxic and karmic. You just never know. So it's like here it's just saying like trust what your inner voice is telling you or trust what the universe is telling you or trust what you're going through and don't look at it as, oh, I'm getting rejected. I feel rejected. Why am I rejected? No, just keep creating with the creation card. Okay? Um, for some of you guys, it has to do with love. With the soulmate card and forgiveness. Some of you guys, you guys need to forgive someone. And step into your joy, happiness. So you can start feeling and being happy, feeling joyful, content. Don't let... Don't let someone steal your joy and happiness. All right? So those are your spirit messages and what you guys are blocked at and what you guys need to release. Um, yes. Let's hop into the love portion, guys. Sorry, loves. There's way too many cards out. All right, so let's see what's going on with you guys in love for today, Wednesday, February the 24th. All right, let's see. Love messages for the collective for today, Wednesday, February the 24th. What is going on with the collective and love? The Queen of Wands in reverse coming out. We have the Six of Swords reverse. Ace of Wands reverse. Guys, really? Three of Wands reverse? Mm -mm, this is some bullshit. Wow. Okay. So, we pull a romance angel on this really quick. The Queen of Wands are in verse, Six of Swords are in verse, Ace of Wands are in verse, Three of Wands are in verse. You kind of feel stuck. Okay? You feel trapped. You feel stuck. You don't. It's like. Let me see if this is like not really good energy, but what is the overall energy of, no, what is the energy of the Queen of Wands reverse? What is the energy of the Queen of Wands reverse? Oh shit, you guys want to take cards off the ground. What is the energy of the Queen of Wands reverse? We have engagement. At the bottom, we have getting to know each other. So we have engagement. We're just going to stay with the engagement card. Because so I want to know what's on this Queen of Wands mind. Why is the Queen of Wands here in reverse? Why is the Queen of Wands in reverse? Engagement, King of Cups. Death card reverse. That's what I thought. So, 
I see this Queen of Wands reverse, Six of Swords reverse. This is someone that's upset. Something's not going the way they want it to go. Male or female, it does not matter. Six of Swords reverse is like you, you feel trapped. You feel kind of stuck in the situation. You feel stuck in this energy. Ace of Wands reverse. Nothing is moving forward. Nothing is going your way. You're upset. You're mad. For some of you. The Six of Swords reverse can also tell me that there's just been a lot of trouble in this relationship. It's been rocky. It's been hard for you guys to come together. And I feel like you're getting mad, more mad, madder with this Queen of Wands reverse. Because the Queen of Wands reverse is not so pretty at times, okay? With the, three, with the Three of Wands reverse, it's kind of like you're not putting energy into the situation. Nothing's changing. But part of you is just like, you know what? They're going to see and realize that they messed up. They're going to come back around. They're going to want to want to be with me. They're going to want to choose me. They're going to want to move forward. It's not moving forward right now. But they're going to soon see that it's going to move forward. They're going to come towards me with this love offer, with the engagement, King of Cups, Death Card in Reverse. They're not over me. They're in love with me. They still want to be with me. I don't know if this is you thinking that or them thinking that, okay? But I, because I just pulled cards. I didn't put energy on anyone. But what I'm also getting is that, yes, I see you guys are in love with this person with the engagement, King of Cups. The death card in reverse is telling me you haven't moved on. They haven't moved on or there's still something there. Or like this person wants to come back. Or out of the blue, this person is going to come back. Or you're just hoping like out of the blue, they're going to come back. It's not over. Could be a Scorpio with this King of Cups and the death card in reverse. And you're just, you're hoping for and wanting some type of engagement. You're wanting them to like give you this offer. Okay. Because engagement is like a love offer. And at the bottom we have getting to know each other. So this could have been someone that you were getting to know. You guys were talking for a little bit of time. You got feelings. They have feelings are, you guys are talking and then things became rocky very soon, very quick. And you may be upset with how things turned out or how things are going. But we have getting to know each other here. And then we have make the effort. So it says, as you release your innermost self to each other, your bond deepens. You feel like you've opened yourself up to this person. You told this person a lot of things about you. Or this person knows a lot about you. Or in the middle of you guys getting to know each other, all of this happened. And it's not sitting well with you. But you like this person. You love this person. And it's like, you know they're going to come back with an offer. Or you want them to come back with this offer. And then we have make the effort. And you're like, no, like, they're going to make this effort. They're going to put this effort into this relationship. And I'm not saying it as if you guys are speaking that way or, or, you know, saying it like that. But it's like, the Queen of Wands in reverse, she can be very demanding. But she can always, she can also be like, like, pushy, demanding. She wants what she wants when she wants it. She wants it now. She can also, you know, um, I'm going to clarify the Queen of Wands in reverse. Because she can, like I said, she can be very demanding, very pushy. She wants what she wants. Um, so we're going to see. And to have this energy like this, let's see. I'm going to see why the Queen of Wands is in reverse and the Three of Wands is in reverse. Why is the Queen of Wands in reverse? Four of Pentacles in reverse. The Star in reverse. This can also be an Aquarius. So it looks like you guys keep breaking things off with someone. You guys keep breaking up with them, breaking things off with them because you lose hope and faith. But then at the same time, you love this person and you want to be with them and you don't really want it to be over. And you want them to come back. You're hoping that they, you know, are going to come back to you. Or it's like, because the Three of Wands reverse can be like, like where someone made the wrong decision or they kind of regret a decision that they made or this can be your energy and it's like you keep breaking things off with someone, the situation keeps getting worse. They're not putting energy into coming back. You're not putting energy into coming back. They probably want to come back or you want them to come back with the three of wands reverse, but they're not doing that. And it's because you keep breaking up with them or they keep breaking up with you or one minute you want to be with them, then you don't or one minute they want to be with you, then they don't. This, is like I, this looks like a whole bunch of high school bullshit. I'm not judging guys, but it's like someone keeps breaking up with someone because they keep losing hope and faith in the person, but they love the person and want the person to return and give them a serious offer. So let's go into the three of wands reverse.
Why is the Three of Wands in reverse? One to the Three of Wands in reverse. We have justice in reverse. See, injustice. Some of you guys are making a decision that, okay, it's like, okay, I'm not saying you guys are lying or lying to yourself, but some of you guys are saying something or doing something that you really don't want to do. And it's with justice in reverse telling me, like, you may tell them, like, I don't want to be with you anymore, but deep down inside you do. You love them, so you're lying. Justice is in reverse. You need to be honest with yourself. There's some type of imbalance in this relationship. Either both you guys are lying or you're lying. There's some type of injustice here that's break down the justice card in reverse. Could be a Libra. I feel like we got every reversal today. Why is the justice card in reverse going to the justice card in reverse? The devil. That's where the karmic energy is at. Like that's that's the karmic energy between you guys. That's the karmic energy between you and this person. Is that you guys keep breaking up, getting back together, breaking up, getting back together. Either both you guys still want to be together or one of you guys want to really be with the person. But you're telling them that you don't want to be with the person because of how they're making you feel. Because they're not coming in with an offer. Because things aren't going your way. Because the relationship is not moving forward. Because you guys are going through something. You're having a situation. You're having a moment within your relationship. And shit happens in relationships. And I feel like either you guys aren't liking what's going on, what's happening. Or the devil can tell me that you want control and how this is going to move forward. And... What you're doing is not going to move this forward and you're still not getting control in the situation. And going back to how you feel or whoever this person is, Queen of Wands reverse with engagement, King of Cups. Someone, this is a serious offer. Someone is in love with someone. They're waiting for someone to come towards them and make this offer. All the things you guys talked about, all the things they promised you, that's what you want from them. You're waiting for the ship to sail. That's how the boat is there. The bolts are here. Three of Wands reverse is not moving forward. And then we have it with the death card reverse. Someone's definitely not over a person. Someone doesn't want it to end. Someone still wants to be with someone. Someone wants someone to come back. Someone's still like holding on. And then it's like they come back and then there's the page of pentacles. They make like a small offer. Maybe the offer is not enough. And then it's like the ten of wands. And so what I'm getting here is that it can be both you guys or your person. They're kind of just fed up and stressed at this point because they don't know what to do. They feel like whatever they do is just not enough. It's not good enough. But the toxic energy is here with this relationship and how it's going to move forward and why it's not moving forward and why it's not moving forward in a way somebody wants it to move forward. Okay? So, Knight of Cups, Page of Pentacles, we have the Ten of Wands. See, and then look, we have the King of Wands reverse. This is both of y'all. Both of y'all are doing this shit. Both of y'all. The King of Wands and the Queen of Wands is in reverse. Both of you guys got an attitude with the Temperance card in reverse. Could be a Sagittarius. Could be any sign. Both of you guys feel some type of way. You feel how you feel. They feel how they feel. There's a lot of miscommunication. A huge, um, a huge mishap or misunderstanding between you guys. They don't want to separate from you. You don't want to separate from them. But you don't like what they're doing or how they're doing things and why they're not coming in with this offer. They're getting fed up. They feel like whatever they do is not enough. The Ten of Wands is here with the Page of Pentacles, not a Cups in reverse. They're coming back. But then it's like, for some of you guys, when they do come back, you feel like they're coming back the same. They're not offering you more. They're full of shit. They're not doing this. They're not doing that. And it's just still not moving forward. And I feel like it's the same cycle. And then we have this here with Justice in reverse and the Devil. I'm even going to go into the Devil and Justice in reverse. But you guys are in the same energy. Both doing the same thing to each other. Are it's like you guys both can just be kind of like aggressive with each other or like you guys both want control. Like you want control, they want control. I'm going to go into the King of Wands reverse and see how that person is feeling with this romance angel and see where their energy is at. Um, let's see, why well, is the King of Wands reverse? Clarify the King of Wands reverse. We have past life relationship. You have known each other before. So yeah, like they feel like they've known you before. You guys have had, you know, possibly several lifetimes together. And we have let your friends help you. So I feel like they're going to their friends or talking to people about this. Like, what should I do about this situation? They're like, I can't seem to let this person go. Like, what should I do? What should I do about the situation? The Eight of Cups is under the Temperance card in reverse. 
So you're staring in the cup. This is telling me that you want more. They're walking away. They have a red jacket on. This person is still in love with you. Yes, they are. King of Cups, you know that. You're still in love with them. But you're staring in the cup like, like, look, I want more. I deserve more. Like, when are you going to give me more? Emotionally, you're not happy and satisfied with what they're offering and giving. But then at times, you accept this offer and take them back. And things are fine. But then it's like, once you don't get your way, Queen of Wands in reverse, you break up with them. You end things. You're mad. You're upset. You want to argue. You want to fight. It doesn't have to be physically. But tempers in reverse is like, you guys clash, argue, fight. You guys have your disagreements. Queen of Pentacles in reverse. You can be toxic, stubborn. That can be you as well. Okay? With this energy here. Yep, see? Um, it's like, with the Five of Pentacles in reverse... They may feel or look at you as like, okay, you changing, things getting better. You're not being so like mean or stubborn or maybe you're not acting the same or you're working on your attitude or you're working on how, you know, you react or respond or whatever. But then it's like with the seven of cups here, they get confused, I feel, you know, because we have the page of swords in reverse. I feel like you start to like to block them off or... You ignore certain things that they say or do or they just feel like you may be doing that just so, you know, I don't know, you have to get back together or, I mean, it could be a lot of different reasons why. Let's see why the Ten of, let's see why the, um, ten of Wands is here. But they feel like um, you guys get back together and you guys change only for a little bit and then you're like back to how you are and you feel the same about them because the King of Wands is in reverse. You want more from them. You feel like if you walk away and leave then you'll get better than them so it's like they leave instead of you walking away and leaving because the guy is like walking away and he's like all right fine bye like if you want better go ahead you know or it's like i feel like the things that you say to them it's like it makes them want to walk away or they just tend to walk away from the relationship so let's see how the ten of wands is here why is the ten of wands here the page of wands and the seven of pentacles. So this is someone telling you like, I'm telling you I want to be with you. I'm telling you I want to invest. I'm telling you that I'm here. I'm telling you that I'm not going anywhere. But I don't know. Maybe you don't believe it. Maybe they're doing dumb shit, you know? Or maybe it's not really enough. And maybe you guys need to just walk away for a little bit and, and ask yourself, like, is this what you really want? Because if you guys are going to keep getting back together and then breaking up and then they're fed up and... They're telling you they want to be with you, but you don't believe them. And you're staring in a cup with this eight of cups. Like, I want more. I deserve more. I need more. And they're not giving you more. And you got an attitude and they got an attitude. It's like we're like, like we're like, there's no meeting in the middle. Let's see how the death card is in reverse. The ten of swords. So it's like the chariot. So I'm just asking you guys with the ten of swords. This is like the worst being behind you are you feel hurt. You feel betrayed. You feel like they have done the worst to you. Like it's like if you feel this way about this person, why do you want them to come back and make a serious offer? And that may be something that you guys need to ask yourself. If this person has hurt you so bad, why do you want them to come back and make this serious offer? For some of you, even though they hurt you so bad, you're still not over them and still want to be with them. Let's see why the Eight of Cups is here on their end on how they feel with the past life relationship card with the King of Wands Reavers. Why is this Eight of Cups here? King of Pentacles. So how they feel is that with the king of pentacles, we have the knight of pentacles. Maybe they're taking too long to man up. Maybe they're taking too long to be serious, to make a commitment, to make an offer. Because we have the knight of pentacles here, the offer is coming. But you don't think it's coming. Or you feel like they're just moving on their own time. Or maybe the relationship's not moving fast enough for you guys. I don't know. But when I see the eight of cups here to the king of pentacles, and they're walking away and you're staring in a cup, this could be you telling them like, you know, like, I like I, I can be with someone better, someone that's going to come in and, you know, give me this, 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 and that. 
okay um but then what i'm also getting in this with this card and this energy and this energy here is that for some of you guys a person you you guys are dealing with they feel as if you are like i'm not gonna say they feel like they can't be a man around you but they feel like you are not allowing them to be a man like i like they because like the the king of wands is in reverse so it's like this person feels like they have no control they have no say so but they keep coming back or this person is very controlling and like i said you are too or they feel like when it comes to the relationship they have no no say so or they can't control this or control that and you want better you want this you want that you want this in a guy you want this in a person you want this in a partner and they feel like they can't give it to you they feel like they can't be the king of pentacles they feel like they can't be the man that you want them to be so they so they're walking away or so they walked away or they are walking away it's something like that let's go into this king of pentacles we have see look the queen of pentacles reverse ten of pentacles maybe you make more money maybe you're the stable one in the relationship but they feel like you use that against them the Queen of Pentacles in reverse with the Ten of Pentacles, Nine of Pentacles. Yeah, maybe you are wealthy. Maybe you are stable. Maybe you got your shit together. You got your own car. You got your own place. You got your own job. You make the money. Maybe you're the breadwinner. Maybe you have more than this. Maybe you went to school. They didn't. I don't know. It can be anything. But they feel like you use that against them. And the Queen of Pentacles in reverse can be very stubborn. She can be materialistic. She can want nice things. She can want to only drive in certain cars and in certain neighborhoods. Um... And it doesn't have to be materialistic like this, but, you know, like, I mean, what girl doesn't want nice things, you know, so, or what man doesn't want nice things. So, I mean, this can be a person that you're dating and they're just like jogging suit and Nikes type person or jogging suit and Pumas. That's them every day, you know, but then they met you and you're just like, oh, no, like, I want a Gucci. I want a Louis. I want this. I want that. And maybe they just can't give that to you. And you can do it for yourself and buy it for yourself and you may throw it in their face. And it makes them feel less of a man, less of a person. Or they feel like they can't be the man that you want them to be. So they walk away. They get upset. They get mad. For some of you guys. But then they keep coming back because you guys have this past life energy here. This past life relationship where there's a karmic tie with the devil and the justice card in reverse. That's what I'm getting. So, I just feel like this relationship, and I feel like you guys want the house, you guys want the ring. And when I see this Queen of Swords here, it may just be like the things that you guys are hearing or seeing. You know, like don't let social media and don't let other people's relationships fuck yours up. And I'm just saying that to be real. Okay, because there's a lot of things that we see on social media. There's a lot of things that we know we see in public. You may see someone in there, you know, in relationships and they're getting out the car and they're looking good and they're looking nice and dressed nice and they look happy. And who knows? He might go home and be her ass. He might be fucking her friend. You don't know the situation, you know? So it's like, I'm saying that to say like, you know, um, don't let other people's relationships or social media or anything come up between you guys' relationships. Like, when I go on social media, sometimes I see, like, they're like, oh, it's the first of the month, cash out for $5,000. If you're a real man, if not, you are broke and you're broke. That doesn't mean that that person is broke because they're not paying your rent. I mean, that's great. That's lovely. I would love that. But if you really love this person, if you really, really love this person and care about them, you wouldn't break up with them for that reason. And I'm not saying that you guys are. I'm using that as an example. Because I would look at the comments and I'll see it and they're like, oh, yeah, because of this, 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 and that. But then I also feel like this person feels like, because you do have it together and you could do your do on your own, you're kind of pushing them away. Or you tend to push them away at times. Maybe their way of showing you... Because the king of pentacles, it could be other things. The king of pentacles can be someone that cooks and cleans and does other things. And no, you don't want no house, man. But I'm just saying, like, the king of pentacles can feel like with this energy that they do things to show and prove to you that they are being a man in a relationship in some type of way. But to you, it may not be.
only other way I'm seeing this is if you guys were brought up and raised a certain type of way. And... I, I mean, some of you guys are just picky with the, the people that you date, the men that you date or the women that you date. And you want a certain type of relationship, a certain type of person, a certain type of lifestyle. And I feel like it's going to take some time for this person to give that to you or bring that to the table. And that may be an issue for you guys. But if that is not the issue, then it's more so like for some of you guys, your attitude. The Queen of Wands, Queen of Pentacles is the reverse. But I'm not saying their attitude is any better because they have the King of Wands in reverse. But to have the King of Pentacles on top of that energy is telling me that they're a little bit more calm or understanding when it comes to certain things and they feel like you're not. You're in reverse. Queen of Pentacles in reverse. Queen of Wands in reverse. But this is someone that you love and care about and that you want to be with. And you're waiting for this offer. Let's see how the Ten of Swords is here. Four of Wands, see? This person hurt you, but you want a stable relationship. You want a commitment. You want them to come back. You're hoping that the worst is behind you guys, and you're hoping that you guys can move forward, come together, have this engagement, move in, live your best lives, and move on. But it's like this energy here is telling me that if you guys aren't able to let go of the karmic energy or work through your karmic energy, then nothing's going to change. All the situation is not going to change. Let's see why the devil's here with justice in reverse. Why is the devil here with justice in reverse? Ace of Swords. That would be the... So once you guys work through your karmic energy, then the Ace of Swords, there can be a, a do-over, a start-over. There can be a new beginning. But it's going to... Let's see. Eight of Cups is here. It's here twice. For some of you guys, you guys need to walk away. Okay? Or it's like... And I'm not saying you need to walk away, but the Eight of Cups is like you. The Eight of Cups to me is all about self-worth. It's all about self-love. It's all about you discovering more of you, life. That you walking away from the things that don't fulfill you emotionally. And I feel like when it comes to this situation and the argument and the toxicity and you guys not getting along. And you guys both wanting control and both mad at each other. Both you guys need to walk away from that before this do-over or this new beginning starts. And that can be why they keep walking away and why you keep walking away. So let's see how the Eight of Cups is here with the Ace of Swords. Three of Swords. There's some heartbreak. They're torn. You're torn. I feel like you guys try to communicate how you feel with the Page of Wands. But it doesn't come out that way because the Page of Wands is a card that's of passion. So it's like the way you express yourself. You know, and I've heard that about me too sometimes. Like people say sometimes when you express yourself, it's like you're so serious in how you express yourself. And to me, I may not feel like I'm coming off as very serious. I'm just passionate about certain things I do and how I talk. And, you know, it depends on what it is. And I feel like it comes out very passionate and very serious because maybe you're hurting or maybe you're torn or confused about the situation. But it's like you guys need to be able to have a talk or there needs to be a conversation where you guys are clear and where there's clear communication here. And not keep walking away from each other. Because that's, all that's doing is breaking your heart. Breaking their heart. Or it's keeping you guys separated and torn. Or it's just keeping you guys separated from each other. That separation. Yep, see, both of you guys are very aggressive and defensive in your, in your approach and your talk. And how you talk. And it could be both because you guys are hurting each other because of breakup, because of separation. You feel like they don't love you. They feel like... You don't love it. It can be a lot of different things. Ace of Cups in reverse. But I feel like both of you guys or one of you guys need to change your approach. And I'm not saying it's just you. I'm not saying it's just them. But I'm just telling you what I see, guys. Okay? So, yeah, because once this, once you guys come out of that energy, there goes this offer, this commitment, Ace of Pentacles. But the Five of Swords in reverse is like no longer arguing, fighting, feeling defeated. Not having regrets, you know, um, able to talk, work it out, hash things out. Okay, and then the offer comes in. So let's see what the overall energy is. And I'm going to pull a couple cards and I'm going to get a reading. What is the overall energy?
We have give your relationship a chance, work on your partnership. That's the overall energy. At the bottom, we have calling in your soulmate, and we have very soon, but this can be the one for giving and learning. So we have calling in your soulmate. We see that here. Very soon, you guys need to make a decision about this relationship and what you're going to do. We have this could be the one. Maybe you guys feel as if this person is the one. They feel like you're the one. And then we have forgiven and learning. As you release and heal the past, you experience more love in your present moment. Are you guys able and willing to release and heal the past? All right. Once you guys do that, then you guys can move forward. Maybe you guys are going to move forward from then. Maybe you guys are going to move forward and come together. Okay. Um, let's pull some last messages from them. And then that would be the reading for today. We have the distance between me is the distance between us is killing me. So there's been some distance here. And that could be the temperance card in reverse is killing him. But it's also causing him to have an attitude because they don't like the they don't like when you guys separate, break up, argue, stuff like that. Earth sign. It could be a Taurus Virgo Capricorn doing this. You could be an earth sign, and then we have fire sign, Aries Leo Sagittarius. Okay. Um, let's see. I moved away so no one can find me. And then we have a water sign. So some of you guys, um, some of you guys, um, you might have earth, fire, water in your chart. Are you guys are dealing with an earth, fire, or water sign? These different signs can tell me that someone just has a lot of different, like not like they just have a lot of mix. Their energy switches up. Okay, is what I'm also getting. One minute they're serious and thinking practical. One minute they're fiery and taking action. One minute they're all in their feelings and very emotional. I want to be with you. Okay. But then they're moving away. Don't know what they want. You are. You're breaking things off. Then there's distance. Then you miss them. Then you want them to come back. Then you want them to come back. Then all you can do is think about them. Okay. Um, or they think about you all day or you think about them all day. And then we have our connection is crazy. All right. And we have vacation. So maybe you guys just need to take a vacation. Maybe you guys just need to take a, a vacation and get out of your city, your state, your environment, clear the, clear the air, have a talk, rekindle things, work this out, figure it out. Do you guys really want to be together or what? You know, is what I'm getting. All right? All right. I love you guys. Have a beautiful Wednesday, and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye, loves.